Well, it's been one crazy week. Um, James Charles came out with more stuff. Trisha Paytas did nothing as usual. Uh, Faze, Tifu quit Faze, and then and, and someone else joined. I don't know, but today we're gonna try and cover it in uh, this nice long video. So sit back, relax, and prepare your butt. As we all remember, James Charles got himself into a whole bunch of crap and a big ol' mess. So, here's the whole story. So the whole story is kind of finished now. James Charles uh, uh, apparently did a whole bunch of bad things. Toddy came out with a 40 minute long video talking about it. James replied with a horrible apology video, but then created a different video saying, well, here are the things Toddy left out, and, you know, basically exposed Toddy, and, uh, Jeffree Star, and I think that's it, I guess. Um, but apparently Toddy is now feeling guilty about it. You can kind of tell with the things she's saying on Twitter and, um, uh, I guess stuff in her new videos and all that. She's kind of feeling guilty about it. Uh, Jeffree Star is like, well, he's still a predator and blah, 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 blah. And it's, uh, yeah. But basically, it has died down now. James Charles, I'm pretty sure, is back to being James Charles and doing whatever James Charles does. Uh, Jeffree Star has fallen off the face of the earth as well as Toddy. So no one really knows what's still going on, but point is James Charles and back and everyone is like oh crap we're guilty now my final opinion on James Charles and all that stuff is that James Charles has still some things to kind of be guilty about and is kind of still guilty about things um, that happened like trying to turn a straight man gay and yeah that's about it um, I never really liked James Charles, I never really watched any of his videos, um, but my opinion still stands, I really, I still don't really like him, um, I still think he's guilty, but Toddy also was guilty, and Jeffree Star I'm pretty sure has some things he's guilty for, but yeah, that is my final opinion on James Charles. Moving on! Yet another face that has relatively fallen off the face of the earth is Trisha Paytas. Now, Trisha Paytas has never made a um, apology video. She never made an apology video. She never uh, released any sort of statement saying that she's sorry to the avocado dude, and she's you know never like tried to make up for it or anything. She has basically hasn't done anything. Um, she still is deflecting the blame and still saying that the avocado guy was like a creep she was like oh I stayed away from him because I thought he was creepy and blah 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 Trisha you wanted to meet the dude after you heard uh, his violin cover of your song and then you go on and say that he's a creep and all this other stuff why are you lying why are you hiding and trying to lie and shift the blame you wanted to meet him the evidence is there uh, my opinion, stop lying, um, and uh, actually apologize to the dude, because he was kind of torn up about it, he was not happy, he really wanted to meet you, he wasted money on you for crying out loud, he bought plane tickets which aren't cheap, and he bought you gifts, which probably aren't cheap either, but still, like, apologize, at least pay the guy back for the airline tickets and the gifts, at least pay him back. My opinion on Trisha Paytas, much like my James Charles opinion, still stands. Uh, Trisha Paytas is in the wrong here, and she should really try to fix what happened, and it, or at least pay the guy back for the airline ticket and the gifts. If she wasn't going to plan on meeting him, why lead him on and pretend like she really wanted to meet him? Like, why go through the trouble of doing that? if you didn't want to actually meet him. It, it makes no sense. Trisha, you make no sense, okay? That's my final opinion on Trisha Paytas. We're gonna move on now. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now on to 
the newer stories and everything that's going on. So, Tifu versus FaZe. Here's what happened. FaZe Tifu decided to quit FaZe and sue them because of a contract he was in that he didn't like, where FaZe was taking a majority of his profits that he made off of videos, competitions, and live streams, etc., etc. FaZe Banks came out with a statement saying that they only made, I think, like 60... 60,000 or something off of him somewhere in somewhere there maybe more off of him uh, in the years that he's been with FaZe which is not what Tifu is claiming it is um, and Tifu was saying that he's going to sue FaZe and that he is going to uh, try and bring justice to the EA and gaming teams etc etc Tifu this isn't about helping people get out of bad contracts this isn't about helping people who are in a bad contract this is about you suing phase because you thought they were taking their money or your money sorry and um you are kind of in the wrong here buddy boy you backstabbed people that you have known for years you backstabbed your friends and essentially your family really they were like family to you and you backstabbed, you lied, you're continuing to go through with this lawsuit, and it's yeah, it's just a mess, man. FaZe, I am on FaZe's side. Um, you know, I don't watch a lot of Tifu. I don't watch him at all, actually, but, you know, he seemed like a really chill dude. Um, I did used to watch his brother's YouTube channel, The Juke Squad. I did love The Juke Squad. Um, but Tifu, man... I am against you on this one. FaZe, I think, is in the right. Um, there will probably be another video about this soon on my channel where it's just this topic. But uh, right now, Tifu, sorry buddy, but you're in the wrong and uh, this is just ridiculous, man. Whew, on to the next topic. On to the final topic of this video, the KSI versus Deji situation. Which has been happening since last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, what happened was, was KSI made a diss track with one of his cameramen. Deji got mad. And then for the longest time, Deji carried out the drama. Deji kept um, bringing it up and carrying it on and dragging it out. And all this other, you know, stupid crap. He kept making videos about it. KSI is like, look, I just want to drop it. And so... For a while, it was gone, and then, relatively recently, Deji re-uploaded his diss track, diss track onto uh, his channel, and KSI was like, dude, what the heck? But Deji said KSI was okay with it, and gave it the green light. Now, the problem with it at first was Deji was dragging it out. He wanted to get a lot more views to his channel and probably subscribers. So he kept dragging it out and dragging it out and dragging it out. But then when it died down, everyone thought it was done for. But now KSI is guilty because Deji made a 40 minute long exposed video. What's up with the 40 minute long exposed videos? Anyway, made a exposing video on KSI saying that KSI became more aggressive and more violent as the years went on with their YouTube channel and he just didn't want to be a part of it anymore which I fully understand if you are doing a YouTube channel with someone and they're becoming more and more aggressive as you go on uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be a part of that either um, and so the truth kind of came out about KSI. I don't think KSI has really responded yet. Um, but Deji is really upset about it. He's really torn up about it. And it's changing everyone's view on KSI and everyone's perspective on everything. It's really nice to see Deji's perspective now. And when you look at things um, in their older videos, like KSI wasn't really aggressive and then it started slowly building up until it came to the point of him throwing chairs at Deji? Uh, that's messed up, dude. That's, that's pretty messed up and very, very violent. I'm surprised Deji doesn't have any broken bones or major bruises on his arm. Maybe he does, I don't know. But KSI is 
really paying for it now. He is um, obviously guilty. There's proof of it in their past videos. And I don't know where KSI is right now. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just trying to ignore it for the most part. Um, but Deji is still really just kind of going on about it. Um, and it's kind of getting annoying between the two. Like, I just want them to settle down and settle their differences and all that. But with YouTube drama, we know that that never actually happens. Um, no two YouTubers actually come together and say, hey, look, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it on that. Um, KSI, guilty. Deji, relatively innocent until proven guilty, which probably won't happen, but yeah. In conclusion, there are a lot of things going on right now around YouTube, and I am trying to cover them all as best as possible. Um, James Charles is done with. That whole situation is done for the most part. Trisha Paytas is never going to admit that she was in the wrong, so that's all relatively done with as well. Tifu will continue to defend his actions, saying that FaZe is to blame. Um, I think FaZe is innocent. And KSI vs. Deji is going to go on for however long that's going to go on for, but I really want it to end. Um, as of right now, things are sitting in a relatively neutral area i guess um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed please do leave a like on the video and if you're new why not press the big red subscribe button and the notifications bell for when i upload videos like this live stream and more um i'm going to try and get back into the swing of things i know i was gone for a while that's because i was finishing up some finals and i am done with that i'm done with everything for now so I'm going to try and start working on my video schedule a bit better, as well as my writing schedule on Wattpad. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave those in the comment section below, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!